Talk To Me is going to get Best Horror Movie of 2023. Just you wait and see. That's how good this movie was. I was shocked. I did not expect this movie to be this good. It has been a long time since I've had a horror movie put goosebumps on my arms the way this movie did. And what makes this even more interesting is that this movie was created by twins Danny and Michael Filippo, who are YouTubers. They make short films on YouTube. This is their first directorial debut, and they killed it. I cannot believe that these guys have put out a movie that larger box office budget production companies could not do. This movie actually felt refreshingly original. It gave me something I haven't seen a hundred times before, just told in a different way. The plot behind this movie is that we have a whole bunch of kids getting into trouble like kids do. Instead of partying and doing drugs and drinking, they're getting this weird high off of conjuring up spirits and allowing them into their body, I guess in the sense of possessing them for a short amount of time. So the way they do it is they use this embalmed hand that almost looks like ceramic or porcelain. And they light a candle, you hold the hand, you say, talk to me. And that hand, at least in the eyes of the person hold it, becomes the hand of a ghost that's sitting in front of you. Now that can be a different ghost every single time you do it, but whichever one it is, you then say, I let you in. And then that ghost possesses you and all the kids end up filming you because you're acting all weird and possessed and things are happening. But they only allow you to do it for 90 seconds. Anything longer than that, the ghost doesn't want to leave. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, we've seen spirit conjuring and possession movies before. But trust me, this one is different. It just, it feels original and it's told in a way that, trust me, you have not seen in any other movie. Now, this is an Australian film, so I am not familiar with any of the actors. The main character is Mia. She is played by Sophia Wilde, and she does a phenomenal job in this movie. Like, every emotion that she could portray, she portrays it in such a convincing manner. She lost her mom. She's dealing with the grief, and she's dealing with a lot of inner pain. And, of course, that makes you vulnerable little spirits. And she has a hard time letting them go once she's let them in, and it causes all kind of havoc. Now, there were a handful of jump scares in here that I have to admit got me when they first took the hand and said, talk to me, and this ghost popped up out of nowhere, scared the living crap out of me. And even the way the possessed kid looks and acts with the eyes that are black and deep, it's creepy as hell. It really is. And then what happens after the possession the way the ghost lashes on and just takes you into this mental torment. Oh, it's so good. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, it's almost a weird mixture of The Conjuring and Insidious. With a little bit of Annabelle mixed in because then you need that item that's haunted. So I guess we'll throw that in there too. The longer you watch the movie, the more attached you get. Which is very interesting. Because now not only do I want a sequel, but I also want a prequel to this movie the way this movie ended totally left them wide open for a sequel and i would 100 percent watch it because the ending was really cool like it's one of the coolest endings i've seen in a horror film and then we have the hand this embalmed ceramic hand that they're holding on to i want to know where this thing came from so i want a prequel telling me the story behind this hand where did it come from how is it attached to the ghosts how far back do we go to find the origin? Is this like 50 years old, 100 years old, 200 years old? I am so intrigued over this hand, it's mind blowing. So this movie has a weird way of capturing your interest and just wanting more. This is an A24 film. I've been watching more of their films lately the past year and I'm starting to like them more and more and more. And I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out on the stuff that they're making in the near future because if this is the kind of stuff that we're going to get, I'm going to become a huge fan. If you've seen Talk To Me, let us know what your thoughts were down in the comments. And if you haven't seen it, you have to go see it. You won't regret it.